Howdy YouTube, there's another update um, on my 3D printing for my Voron parts. Um, this is just a short thing, hopefully it's a tip that might help others, uh, we'll see. Uh, I got this from Angus on Maker's Muse, he does it slightly different because he uses different materials. Um, but I generally follow the same rule with all my ABS prints. Um, that I've been doing so far and I'll like for example this print and this print for my Voron build these are the cable covers for the back the PCB cable covers and the only that's all that's holding them onto the bed so I'm printing all this stuff without brims without mouse ears and there's really not a lot of surface area to connect to the bed. And the way I'm doing it is, is pretty simple. And uh, it works for him. It works for me. It's actually very cool. First thing I do is I make sure my bed's clean, which I did wash it down with Dawn just to turn it because that gets oils and stuff off. Uh, I then spray it down with some IPA and water, which is a 50-50 mix of 70% uh, IPA. Just to make sure I didn't leave any fingerprints on the surface. Uh, I'll wait for that to flash off. Give it a little help there. There we go, that works. And then I will use my trusty super cheap glue stick. Um, I use washable um, and acid-free, and it's uh, basically water-based. So, all right, and then I, uh, whoop, there's my finger. What I do is I put it in the center. I do a little circle all the way out. And I don't care if it's all lined up perfectly. I just want it on the general area. Now, I wouldn't normally, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't just start printing because I don't like heavy clumps of uh, glue. Because what's going to happen is, once this bed heats up, this glue is going to go from the kind of sticky tacky feel to a, uh, to a wet feel. Um, so what I do instead is, and, and you know, they're going to they're gonna dry, they're going to dry hard. So the surface won't really be level anymore. That's the, that's the main thing. So I'm going to pour a little bit of water on it. Not much, just a little bit. There we go. That's it. And I'm going to use my hands, because it doesn't matter at this point. I'm going to rub it in to the glue until the glue starts breaking down. And you know if you're doing it right, because the, uh, the water should get milky. That's exactly what I want. You want the glue to break down and get spread evenly in the water mixture and become a milky and you don't want to see any lumpy spots. You want it to essentially look like your, uh, you know, like a, like a, like actual glue, like a, like a see-through kind of glue when you're wiping it. There we go. And then I take it and I wipe it. And I know it seems like it's uh, counterproductive that I'm wiping it with my fingers and the oils, but there's just way too much glue left in this to, uh, I don't, my, my hands don't care. They don't care. They don't care. See, right now, when I feel it, it's kind of slippery but kind of tacky all at the same time. And what I do is I take a, another paper towel and put you down for a second. You can look at some. Look at. Whoop, you can look at nothing. It fell over. Look at this for a second while it's blurred so I can wipe my hands on this other paper towel. I take this one. And I take another little tiny piece of paper towel. And I just moisten it a little bit. And the reason why I do that is because I don't want. I don't want the. Uh, fibers that just come off and I just kind of wipe up the excess a little bit there we go 
And that's it. I just leave it like that. That's it. And I leave it like that. The rest of that's going to dry uh, as soon as this thing heats up, which I'm going to do right now. Got to do my next batch. And it should turn kind of a dusty white. That's it. That's all I do. Pretty much everything, everything's going to stick to that right now. It's got a little bit of a tacky feel to it, as you can see, you see my fingerprints in it. And that's going to, that's going to dry a little bit, get a little bit sticky, and then it's going to get hard once it dries to a certain point. And it won't feel kind of tacky anymore, but the ABS seems to uh, like to stick to it very well. And then I prep it, and I'll probably print... I'm going to say probably three platefuls of parts on that. I can probably do about three without having to reapply or clean it or anything. You'll know if you really got to clean it because when you pull the parts up, they're going to you're going to see imprints in, in the in the deck from where the parts were where it pulls up a little bit of the glue. Like on these prints, you'll see there's a little bit of glue. That'll actually wa you can use water and that'll come right off. These are all the, all the parts printing I've been doing. And I went now with all my new settings, and they're pretty darn clean and sharp the way they should be. These are the uh, X carriage parts I believe. They're all coming out really well. Nice and even these little parts like this. And it's got a little bit of surface area but then I print these little guys, these little spacers and these things all printing without popping off. And like I said these these I printed no, nothing to hold them on, just uh, just that little edge, and they seem to uh, seem to hold pretty well. And you can see how like my fingerprints and everything kind of disappear as it's heating up. And now, if I touch it, a little bit of tacky, but not too much now. A little bit there, because it's still all wet up there, and it's good to go. It's pretty. It's, I guess what you would call it is in the cooking world, it's seasoned. I guess would be a good phrase. So I've got a nice, good, even layer on it too. So that's it. Now I'm going to print another batch of parts. I just finished the uh, hot end part here. And the prints are just coming out so nice now. So, so good. And the accuracy is spot on like it's supposed to be. Let's see if I can get a good shot here. Off. I mean, just just doing what it's supposed to do. Everything's lining up like it should, and I think that I'm gonna be very happy with everything once it's once it's all put together. I just ordered all the um, I ordered a, a Revo Voron hot end. With some extra tips that's coming uh delta fan uh, for one of the for the i believe might be the print print head portion of it i believe that's for the part the printed parts so that should go on the top i believe i've got a whole bunch of tools coming uh lots of fasteners extra fasteners um circuit board uh for the hot end I was going to do the split one, but I didn't want to. I just want to keep it simple simple enough. I'm just going to do the, the one custom circuit board for that. And uh, it's coming along. And I've already um, I've already set up all the G-codes for all the rest of the prints. They're all just waiting for me to to just print them. So I've uh, separated them all out and, and all the parts are all ready. So I'm going to start doing the marathon parts printing. Um, so this particular portion of this is actually very important to make sure bed, bed adhesion is good box been working great I'm just waiting for a I run it with the window cracked and then I leave the room and then I don't come back until it's it's done it cooked done cooking and dry I'll check in on my camera to see how far it's going um, but other than that it's, uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do so I think I'll probably be done with printing um, probably in four days because it's maybe maybe four days because there's the print some of these prints are 12 hours long so uh the prints i did this print here was uh nine those were about 11 because there was more with those um yeah so it's gonna it's gonna take a bit 
and that's printing at <coughs> I think I'm printing somewhere around a, like a hundred on the uh, in the slicer and I'm sure that only equates to about maybe 50 or, or 70 somewhere around there because um, it is printing quick um, it's just you know this is just the nature of 3d printing so all right if you guys have any questions or comments below or suggestions uh, pr please post them and I will talk to you all later bye